Emily Dean here from NAB 2024. I found Chris Netto on the show floor from Sterum Marketing. Chris, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for, uh, for stopping me. It's been a busy show and putting in the steps. Yep. I mean, as you can see, it's busy. We've uh, had people walk through, but that's totally fine. Um, Chris, tell me a little bit kind of what you've seen on the show floor in terms of trends, what you're looking forward to, and what just, yeah, your overall ex uh, general expectations. Well, uh, as an AV distributor, uh, we're obviously here looking at our equipment and stuff like that, but the side benefit to it is that we're running into our uh, dealers and integrators. Uh, they're all here as well. Uh, we have a couple brands here as a, as, as a distributor that are here, that are present. It's wild though because it's not our traditional stuff that they show up. They're they're very vertical focused on the, obviously because it's a broadcast show, yeah. uh, but it's interesting to see because typically we get more of the, the UC conversations on, uh, on the on the pro AV side and to come here and see their bigger breadth pro products has been pretty wild. But um, I'm searching. I love looking in the back nine as they call it, like looking for the small companies because there's always a great story to be had of the small company that kind of comes from the back and works to the front. Uh, and we see that obviously at Infocom uh, and to see them here maybe in a smaller booth and moving out. A um, Couple of the trends that I've seen, um, one of the things that we're starting to see a lot more from our integrators is the use of broadcast in the corporate environment. So this show is traditionally more a broadcast heavy from the media side and uh, sports and entertainment, but we're starting to see that proliferation into the corporate space. So small studios being brought into the corporate world, how can they broadcast messaging out? What the pandemic had taught us is that video is acceptable, the next generation is all wanting to see the video. Right. So we're seeing products, a lot of it is coming back to a very easy to use format, not as super critical, a lot of buttons and switches. That's what I went to school for, that's not what you see now. Software-based solutions, when it comes to that, are everywhere. Uh, that seems to be one of the biggest trends for me. Um, but personally, I come look at cameras. A couple of our uh, inter uh, vendor partners are here with their new uh, cameras where they announce them here because obviously these are NDI, pro, -A, you know, pro broadcast media type stuff. So we come see them here and then look and see how can we apply those into our pro AV space in a conference room. And obviously we do auditoriums and all that sort of stuff as well, so how does that apply to it? Yeah. Speak a little bit more about software. Software has been kind of a polarizing topic for our audience. Um, so I'd like to know kind of your perspective on that coming from your side and just speaking with your customers. How are they perceiving software? Is it more of a um, benefit for them or is it more of a priority for them these days? Well, it depends. Uh, the software solutions, what they, what they are today, are replacing a lot of boxes, an entire room of gear that once used to do it. Uh, I've recently just, we, myself and one of my coworkers just sat through a demo of a, of what a broadcast, you know, kind of setup was, an editing station, and that used to be stacks of gear in or front of you, or a truck, yeah. and it's now a desk with a computer and a server. Um, the, it, it's not stopping. Uh, the AV world likes to debate the AV is IT and IT is not AV, and that's a discussion for a whole other topic. Yeah. We're not going to get into that. But here, I think what is accepted is that you know things that used to be the size of a truck is now shrunken into a server size. The remote process of it makes it a lot more efficient for the end user. The end users are going to drive the software because if we're doing it on a phone, simply on a, on a consumer or prosumer side, right. from a professional side, they kind of want that same thing and they know it's not going to fit in a phone, let's be real, but it can fit into a server and when you have your mixer, your audio, your DSP, all that kind of built into it virtually and then going up to a cloud, I think there's really no discussion. That's where the future is and for some places, here especially, you know, it's not traditionally a church show, right? Uh, a house of worship show, but there's a lot of house of worship walking because they're a big broadcast in-house media group. And this, the money that they're investing into this, those software solutions and everything that you have and see and that everybody wants is coming from a one-man church that needs to broadcast out to a huge audience that may be shut in, they can't go. So you're, you're, you're seeing that here and you're obviously seeing the big boys and and, 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 and the, um, oh God, the, the TV networks. Yeah. Okay, we'll put it that way. Uh, the, the TV networks are here and they're all looking at that uh, solutions as well. And you know, to see a weather station or weather setup where the news anchors and the weather people are in a space that is tiny compared to what they used to do, that's all because of software, I'll be honest with you, and green screens and LEDs all help that. But it's definitely 
it's it, there's there's no stopping that if you think that's it's going to change it's not yeah i was we uh stopped by the ross booth yesterday and i got a overview of what they were showing mm -hmm. and i go how many people does it take to run this one person, one person. yeah so i think it's two if you want if you, if you want an extra set of eyes on it that's Pretty right. much it. Yeah, but it can be one person and it can be super compact or it can be as big of a setup as mm -hmm. kind of the studio or the customer wants it to be. But right. yeah, I think you're exactly right that that's the future of where it's going. Any other future trends that you've seen? Uh, the beauty of being a hardware distributor, and we also deal in the services side, is we're watching the improvement of stuff. Existing technology does improve. One of the things that we're starting to notice is that the glass on the on the cameras are getting better. Uh, that used to not be something that we worried about on the Pro AV, AV side. It was just the shot pan tilt zoom cameras. But even those pan tilt zoom cameras are starting starting to get better glass, and that improves the shot. As people, photographers, videographers will tell you, the better the quality of the glass, the better it is. And you can only improve it so much on a digital side, but it really starts and ends with the glass. So we're starting to see that quality coming in, and I'm happy to see some of these box cameras that are coming and becoming more affordable to the corporate environment. So now, what used to be a good enough shot now turns into a cinematic shot, yep. right? Everybody wants to be Steve Jobs. You couldn't afford that. Yeah. Uh, and now, here we are many years later, we're finally at that point where we're starting to see you know, that cinematic shot being incorporated into a corporate video the things that they dreamt of thinking that they would eventually have is finally happening. It's not just on a webcam, you know, sitting in a conference room anymore. So that's that's pretty wild. Yep. Well, thank you for your insights. Um, I'm sure that you will take all of this knowledge to your AV and the AM discussions um, next Sunday. So keep a lookout for that on X, Twitter X. Yes. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching and tuning in. If you'd like to learn more about all of our NAB 2024 coverage, visit launchcode.com.